Yesterday's price is today's price. I thought I tried to tell y'all. Now, first of all, before I talk this story, big shout out to my brother, Ja. Ja getting that bag right now, my nigga. Ja Root is that dude right now. I had to step aside and let him get his flowers. Ja Root is the man. When he said he was going to sweat me out of that Versace shoot, he did. But let me tell y'all this story, man. I was talking to this beautiful woman, go by the name of Pretty Brown Eyes. We talked for a minute. And she want to know crack. What is one of the craziest call, phone calls you ever got? I'm going to tell you what happened. 2007. Me and 50 Terror Squad niggas was performing in Chicago. It was crazy back then. Hip-hop back at that time was ruthless, my nigga. You couldn't walk out with your chain at night like you can now. So let me tell y'all what I seen. We actually, after the Chicago show, we go to a Bojangles down in Gary, Indiana. Gary, Indiana is straight hood. I'm telling y'all. And this is where the terminology happened. Well, my price range went up. Phone call happened. You know who it is? Take a guess. Somebody representing the king of pop, my nigga. He called my phone. Michael Jackson wants to talk to Fat Joe. And I'm not going to lie, my nigga. I dropped my chicken wings of the simple fact that Michael Jackson wants to talk to me. So I pick up the phone. Chicken wings and biscuits and all full in my mouth. Like, hello? And he goes, it's me, Michael. And I'm like, ah! And he was like, I'm coming over here right now to Bojangles to shake your hand. And I said, what? Yes, I came to go over there. I'm going to order me a biscuit. I'm going to toss it all over the hood. I said, Michael Jackson is coming in the projects. In Gary, Indiana, my nigga. Pistol Pete looking at me like, yo, Joe, who you talking to? I told him, yo, I'm on the phone with Michael Jackson. Pete looking at me like I'm smoking something crazy. And that day forward, Michael Jackson came in a limo, my nigga. Outside, 30 minutes later. Window goes down. Tossing chicken wings at everybody. I ran in the back, got me a bucket, my nigga. I know I can't get his autograph, but I'm damn sure going to get the chicken. So I went back, got the bucket while he was throwing the chicken wings out the limo. And I was like this, catching them all. And Michael, you can see the white glove and shit. He just tossing them out. I see hood niggas crying, gang bangers crying. I wanted to cry, my nigga. I seen one of the toughest killers. And I'm gonna put I'm gonna put your name out there for a minute. I seen DMX, not DMX. I seen my man. No, I ain't gonna put him out. I'm not gonna put him out there. I seen one of the coldest killers. Jump on a limo and started moonwalking. And he a gangster rapper. That goes to show you how powerful Michael Jackson is. So from that day forward, yesterday's price became today's price. Changed my life. And I knew I couldn't moonwalk. I would crack the semen if I tried to moonwalk. So... That's a crazy story that I wanted to share with y'all. Pretty brown eyes know. I shared the story. The exclusive. 
And now you getting it here. And the motto is this. Yesterday's price is today's price. <laughs>